your C6 ready to be cut out. Easy one. Okay, and that was kind of brutal. I just did like two hours of epoxy work and I did, well, let me show you. I got C6 over here, which is the, the frame just forward of the transom. And I'm actually using the transom as like a work table with a piece of plastic on it because shape fits perfectly. Uh, but here's six with some uh, C6 with some peel ply on it. And it's got these um, 10 centimeter slots cut in it, one there and one there, 40 centimeters from the center line. And um, some pieces that run from bow to stern are gonna fit into that and hold it upright. And then here's C5, that's the main bulkhead. You can see the one by three here is epoxied down into the hull and I put six ounce cloth over it. And then I put a piece of plastic over it and this uh, two by three is just laying on top to make pressure so that I keep kind of a 90 degree angle here, down here, because the, basically like the deck of the cockpit is gonna sit on this. That's what this is, it's the support for that. And then this um, hatch will lead from the main cabin to the storage in the stern. This is a lot of work. Yeah, so it's 11.33 at night. I'm gonna call it quits, and then tomorrow morning, hopefully, I'll have time to flip both of these over and put six ounce cloth on the other side too. Then we'll be that much closer to actually laying them onto the bottom of the boat and epoxying that in place. For now, I'm done epoxying C6 and C5. So here's C5, main bulkhead. And uh, this will be the um, floor in the main cabin. This will be the, the forward support for the floor. And that glassed in nicely with, this is just six ounce cloth. Good fillet on this side, and then try to keep 90 degrees on this side. And I got a few new toys. I got a oscillating cutter and some uh, rudder gudgeons and pentels off of a Catalina 25, and then some heavy duty cleats. This will go um, like port side stern, starboard side stern, and then one for the bow right in the middle on the deck. Now I've cleaned up the excess fiberglass matting with the oscillating cutter and then the orbital sander. So C5 has its edges cleaned up. And there's the transom and C6 also. I got my main bulkhead here, or as I call it, frame C5. And uh, I've clamped it up vertically to my uh, steel storage shelf. And what I wanna do is reinforce this hatch that'll go from the uh, where I'm sleeping, the cabin, to the cargo space. And I figure I might sit on this, so I wanted to reinforce this so it's a little rounder, more comfortable to grab, and it, it'll hold weight more. So I might as well go all the way around. I'm just a little nervous because it's vertical. So it may be hard to lay up. First I got chop strand mat ready to go and um, and then some six ounce cloth to go over that and make it smooth. You're supposed to use polyester resin with this stuff but I just want to use the West system epoxy I have. Let's, let's just see how it works. Hopefully it's not terrible. I've just put on one layer of chop strand mat and then covered it with a layer of six ounce matting. And uh, they say you can't use the epoxy with chop strand mat or it's not as good, 
but I can tell you it, it, uh, it actually worked very well. I've been thinking about the issue of how to hold these frames up vertically while I epoxy them in place. And I came up with making four of these little things, which I call frame gates. And what I'm going to do is just slide them on here, and then I'll, uh, I'll clamp this piece of wood onto the side to snug it up and make it tight, because now it's a little loose. And then I'll run a piece of wood between C5 and the transom to hold them up straight and uh, diagonally down to the jig here. So I'll have a diagonal piece coming up here to C5 and then a straight piece over to the transom. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make the first diagonal support. And the way I decided to do it is took this cheap one by four, clamped it onto the jig and added a couple screws once I got it up at the height where it'll, it should meet this frame here. And then I got the uh, laser level and I got it to shine a line right along where C5 is going to sit. And then going up, I get this line. So I'm just going to mark it with a pencil and cut it. And then it should sit right up against here and my gate my frame gate will go on here and clamp to it. Now this is pretty cool. I got the first couple frames dry fit in place. I've got C6 dry fit in here now. And for this one, because it's so small, I decided it's best just to put in this little piece of wood I cut, a vertical support, and clamp it in. Okay, the frames are now epoxied in place. Okay, two and a half hours have passed since I did the fillets, and they feel pretty hard to the touch, but they should be able to still take a chemical bond. So, I am going to, with a brush, put epoxy everywhere along here, up to right here, and then put down six ounce mat, and then I've got some 1708 pieces cut. So it'll be, you know, one 1708 section here, one here, one here, one on this side, one here, and the six ounce is going to go up and over C6 like that, and down and up, and then another little six ounce cloth here. So I think six ounce cloth will be on the bottom, and then the 1708 on top of that. Hey everyone, it's Captain Perry here with you. It is November the 14th, 2021, a Sunday night, 10 p.m. in San Diego, San Diego, California. And I'm so excited. I just finished uh, getting these three frames up and glassed in with 1708 and six ounce cloth. And i um, just very excited to see the boat start to have some frames. So that's three up. And then I have... Um, Let's see, five more if you include the bow, which is kind of flat. So five more verticals to do. And uh, I'll show you what I did. Now there's a shot of the whole boat. And then if we go up, you can see uh, the 1708 and the six ounce mat uh, underneath it. And uh, this work took 70 minutes. And uh, as you can see, there's a six ounce matting going all the way up and over C6 and back up the transom. And then each frame got its own piece of 1708. Now they're, um, aside from the framing, which is temporary, they're kind of precariously placed. So 
I think up next I'm going to glass in a permanent 1x2 going up to about here. And that'll make it a bit more stable as I continue work. Here's a view from the back. It's very cool to be able to more visualize what the space is going to look like. Well, it's starting to feel like we're really rolling with the project now, and I had a lot of fun getting it to this part. So I'm excited for what's to come. Hope you stick around. I will see you next week. Mr. Board, let's make all preparations for getting on the way. That guy sure likes to carry things. Hey, uh, what's your name, buddy? Home. Get back to your station or I'll have you shot from a mutineer! Well, shoot something!